uh, the, aside from the sweaty gaming and competitive rule sets uh, with no items, no fun, now we have a side event purely with items, right? So items in Smash are basically, uh, they're just like items that get dropped around the stage, but they have a variety of effects. Pokeballs, for example, will summon Pokemon. Assist trophies will summon random characters from Nintendo. Nintendo. Um, yeah, Nintendo. Oh, that's the most adorable. Look out for the Nintendo. Uh, what else? We have bombs, we have bomb arms, we have mushrooms, we have everything. So if you're a Nintendo fan, you'll definitely see something. Yeah, there's a giant like pulsing brain. I'm not sure what's he. Is it yeah, from Mother? Mother Brain. Uh, Mother Metroid. Brain. Metroid. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah Samus Aran. Uh, Metroid. Uh, yeah, enjoy the items tournament. Uh, this will be fun to see. We're going to be playing on the Alpha Rad rule set. So for those of you who know Alpha Rad, very prominent YouTuber, uh, hosted an items tournament with competitive players, uh, with some of the best players in the entire world at competitive Smash, and brought them down to a casual level and said, hey, how many of you are really good but with items? And so that's what we have here. Uh, we have 19 people, I think. Um, a few people have DQ'd, but the, these are the real Smash players right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is where real Smash happens, items tournaments. That's right, and if you think about it, can you actually say that you can play with items at a high level casually, right? Because you would need an in-depth knowledge of the game, um, you know, like the back of your hand, essentially, to be able to like know all of the items and how to use them. It's like that rule set that you had, like at one point of time, when it was just bats. You know, and it's just like bats that drop around the stage, and you just like grab the bat, and you just try to hit them, and apparently if you get a hit, um, it becomes like a critical hit, you know, the one with like that um, it, special a, a animation. Blue screen, and yeah, you'll screen. instantly die. Yeah, yeah so these are the kind of items that we have, ladies and gentlemen. We have 800 different Pokemon and assist trophies. So actually, some people might say items is even more skilled because of the amount of knowledge that you have to have, right? Uh, definitely the meta of surrounding items is much, much different than the surrounding competitive Smash. Uh, faster characters, I believe, benefit a lot more because they have more stage control in order to pick up the items in the yeah. first place. Um, I hear Skull Kid, for example, is going Sonic because he wants to make use of Sonic being the fastest character in the game uh, to pick up the items. Uh, very, very interesting counterpick, and I'm very interested to see what kind of characters. Will, will most competitive players stick with their original characters, or will they switch to new characters for this tournament? Yeah. Uh, and of course, the stage list is drastically different uh, than the one that you might be used to if you're watching competitive Smash. We also have Stage Morph on, which allows you to switch between two stages. So. Very, wow. That'll be very, very interesting to see. Uh, so what are the legal stages for this item store? Uh, let me pull up the rule set. But the legal stages... We have... Peach's Castle, Pokemon Stadium 1, with hazards on. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom U. We have the Mario Kart uh, Raceway. We have the Mi House. And we have Delfino Plaza as our neutral stages. For our counter picks, we have the... What's the Pokemon? The city? Hold on, hold on, wait, let me let me try to Um wait. Wait, it's coming to me. Is it like more it's not Morville City, right? No, I I kind of know what it's Silk Co. It's Silk Co. I saw right, so right. okay, okay. Um then we have Kid Icarus' stage, Kids Temple. Kid, Kid, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, like uh, oh, but looks like we're into game one. We have Gunkman versus PK Yeats. And we are on to Mario Kart, the Mario Kart track. Uh, looks like we have PK Yeats on the hero versus Gunkman, of course, on this trusty Wow, trusty I love how it already looks like serious Smash. Oh, there we go, that's exactly. our first Com item. Competitive casual Smash, you love to see it. Uh, looks like PK Yeats has SD'd. Very, very interesting move. We'll see if it plays out first. Oh, is this about uh, to check Probably a bunch check of yeah, right. uh, Different character, different stages, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll let them figure things out. Uh, but as you can see on the stage, all these different items. An assist trophy on the far right. Uh, we have the beetle that will carry you straight off the top. Uh, I guess I'll out. Best, uh, best of three until top eight. Top eight will start from winner's semis and loser's round four. Alright, so we have uh, the announcement. Best, of three, best of three until top four. Is that it? Yeah. yeah uh, top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Top eight is best of five. Alright, looks like we have Mario Circuit as our stage one. And, and you gotta have the good music. Of course, of course. Into Mushroom Kingdom U for stage two. Uh, very, very focused on the Mario here. But excellent choice of stages, excellent choice of music as well. And Gunkman is staying with the DDD and PK Eats is staying with the hero. Hero, a very, very strong contender in items. The menu being so powerful. Uh, the number of spells you can get, right, just fire off. And with so much going on on the screen, how do you even keep track of what heroes do? Yeah, this is, this, my friends, is the one part of the game that rewards jank. Exactly. And no one says jank like hero. 
Alright, into the Psycho. Um, oh, of course, by the way, you're going to be playing on four stocks here because of the potential for you to instantly die. And it looks like we have a final touch. Oh, but the Psycho F smash Whoa. instantly breaks his shield. Is this another crit? Another crit? No, not nah, quite. Not quite. Brings him up to 50%. Uh, yeah, yes, no, final smash meter or the case uh, Final smash meter is off, apparently, that, which is a bit unfortunate for my Zelda pick, but enough of that. Uh, we have the banana peel and the banana for uh, PK Yeast, throws at him, inhales it with the inhale from DDD, and the black hole. Ooh. Oh, this is a lot of damage. We have Tiki from the assist trophy, um, probably one of, if not the strongest assist trophies in the entire game. Uh, let's see if Gunkman can survive this one. That is some excellent RNG, and he's just being ricocheted across oh, the stage. Oh, he's being ping across the entire stage, just like you said, and yeah, just gets King Kong right into the blast zone. Meanwhile, you just casually have a dragon who's just standing above and just like raining a shower of fire on you. But as you can see here, I believe we have a... Uh, Gunkman with the Freezy, but PK Yeats with the Accelerado. Ooh, goes for that up smash, but like, nice air dodge right there. And the explosion from the barrel. Very, very chaotic game all around. I think there's potential for a lot of fun with BDD because of his in here when he can just like spit it right back at you. Right, it's really tough to throw items at BDD because if he's inhaling, then he'll be able to spit the item right back. Oh, there's a Pokeball! What Pokemon what is Pokemon it going to be? Four stocks And we have Latias! So I believe Latias and well, Latias will just zip across the stage, damaging anybody in their path. Yep, Latias and Latias, racking up 21%. Very respectful. Oh, but here we go, our first stage mark into Mushroom Kingdom U and the crit from PK Oh, four bomb bombs from that uh, party ball right there. Alright, picks up a little bounce, that will be helpful against the Gordos. But the dash attack will take the first off of PG. Alright, and we see here we have another Freezy. How is Gun going to use it this time? All but the Orc Club, PKE is using it to great effect. There is super armor on that Orc Club, so you have to be extra careful when you challenge it. 83% on Gun Queen, but with the Pokeball, oh, just an EV. Will that EV be enough? Yeah, Eevee is looking a little bit lost. Oh, but that Super Mushroom right there. Oh, is he gonna get it? The Black Knight coming out from PK Yeats. Meanwhile, Gunk is just standing menacingly at the platform that's gradually receding to the side of the screen. Yeah, there is a Black Knight on the screen. I would also be very careful oh! because just like that, the Black Knight takes out Gunk in game one. Also, apparently Smash Balls are on. I did not realize that. I did not realize that either, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we had your first game of the items tournament on stream. Yeah, no final smashes, which is a bit sad, although we did have gunk misses first. Yeah, right? gunk misses first. Yeah. Like, it's just really um, kind of sad. It's like you think that like, the so called like, lower tier characters would have maybe like more dramatic like final smashes, and then this is just kind of like you have to be in motion. Yeah. And th there are other characters where it's just like. Um, like I know for, for Yoshi's it's just like a stampede, right? And then for other characters you just have this like giant like black hole that just goes and opens and sucks in everybody. Yeah, definitely the balance on Final Smashes is uh, nowhere to be found. <laughs> Imagine, for example, Zelda's Final Smash will just delete you for over 100%, whereas you have a Final Smash like Jiggy Kong, which might even completely miss the opponent, right? Yeah. But, uh, Final Smashes, like, not being a part of competitive gameplay, will never really see much of balance, and, but, you know, part of the fun of items is the complete lack of balance in some of these items. Yeah, that's right. And now we're here on Silph Claw, which, as you can see, is an excellently balanced stage, having a cube at one corner that limits... Oh, another Another shield break for PK Yeats. Let's see what the setup is. Crit. Oh, <laughs> saved by the Starman there. Excellent, excellent strategy there by Gunkman. Uh, yeah. As you can see, Silco, very, very good save. Ooh, but it's just going to be from uh, PK Yeats and it's Alucard. Uh, Alucard's bats are incredibly strong. We'll start killing off the side right about now, actually. Yeah. Alright, Gunkman playing around Alucard very, very well. Uh, the Pika Yeats is out here going for the Alucard. Alucard has rage, actually. Does all these assist trophies have like, HP of their own? They do, and do, actually. Uh, assist trophies do indeed have their own HP, and they can be killed by your opponent. Um, actually, if you're in a time battle, killing an assist trophy will count towards your points. Oh, that's an electro. Yeah. Oh, but it just exploded because right now Gunk has become a fire-breathing penguin. Uh, woo, the bullet bill. Not gonna hit Pika Yeats using that too very nicely. Um, and you have another f slash into the Gordo. Wow. 60% just like that. And looks like we're going into Ooh. Peach's castle. Uh, Whoa. Using that bomb, blowing up the Gordo. Oh, is that it? Crit, crit, crit. 
now and bounces off the cheese graders on the side but here we have the uh, gust bellows oh, oh man it's impossible to carve against the gust bellows like that yeah this hero pick looking very very nice and very good item play by pk Eats. nice tech on the cheese graders but there's a star right there and an Oshawa, which actually pushes Gunk off the stage. Oh, but he's able uh, to make no it back. No one fight gets a star. And another bomb out from PKE. Gunk so kind of avoiding that. Nice little uh, freeze, freeze slash there by uh, PKE, but who has now become incredibly tiny. A little bit of a dangerous situation if any move by Gunkman now will take him out. Alright, manages to avoid getting killed, and the sizzle coming out for a little bit of extra damage. Alright, we don't have any big items here. This is starting to look like singles gameplay more than anything. Yeah, singles gameplay oh, on Peach's Castle. Smash and down. nice up smash. Oh, the up smash with the double, killing PK Eats and getting that final smash. Looks, looks like we have a, a stage morph back into Sosko. Final smashes will stick around until they are used. So, uh, <laughs> interesting kamikaze right there from PK Eats. But he is still up um, 80%, so... Right, so let's just enjoy the susp- Oh, oh uh, man. Burns his final smash. A little bit unfortunate. Maybe you missed the clip, we don't know. But the flame slash from PK Yeats will send Gunkman flying off the top. Sizzle, 26%, just like that. Why not? Oh, and but we have here another final smash meter. Is Gunkman going to be able to get this yeah. one again? Oh, but this- Oh! oh! And Gunkman is huge DDD. This is truly King DDD. Will he be able to make use of this though? Oh, oh. Uh, oh man! Good use of the Orc Club right there, but now we have Abra. Abra teleporting PK Yeats all over the stage. And Yeats accidentally hitting that X bomb. Yeah. He is hanging onto this Orc Club. Uh, Gunkman is at 170. Oh no! Is he gonna be able to make it back? There the we Kaboom? Go. Not quite setting off the bomb. Will that bomb be break shield? Oh, oh. Flame Slash will send flying straight to the top. No tech possible on that greener. Well played to King Yeats and his hero. Look, we got to see a top deck kamikaze, so you know yeah. I personally yeah. can say I am satisfied. Excellent, excellent game. Well played to both of them. Yeah, and I mean like hero is just like so well suited for everything because he basically just has like so much cheese on Exactly, game. exactly. Yeah, he, the menu. He's almost like one of the stage hazards himself. <laughs> Very, very true. Yeah, that menu that he can pull up, a little bit of a hazard to himself as well, as you saw with the Kamikaze. But definitely five, uh, 35 out of 36 times, the number of spells in Hero's menu. 35 out of uh, 36 times, it'll be beneficial for the hero. Yeah. No, and it's just like, I just find it quite funny, just, just like at that moment, it's like still cool, like it, they're just like, you know, like stuff, like stopping at one corner. And then suddenly there's a charge and it just like comes out of nowhere. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> like the shield break on Gunkman, right? And then saved by the charge. Like yeah. this is the kind of jank you'll never see in competitive play. Yeah, you know? you'll definitely never see yeah. it. Like, I really wish you could see actually like PS1 if like the hazards on or even like Carlos right because then the stages change and then you just randomly have like I don't know like columns of fire just like coming out of nowhere yeah. oh, and we... it's like yeah this is fine you know the, the meme like yeah. yeah this is fine we might see a PS1 pick I don't think Carlos is legal unless oh, yeah, it, like, it might be a counter pick <laughs> uh but I, I don't even like playing on Carlos with hazards off I don't want to think about what it would be like if hazards on yeah Carlos a jank stage all around uh, Kalos, fortunately for you, is not on our stage list. Okay, that is a really yeah. We do have Picto Chat though, which I will be interested to see if someone picks a Picto Chat. Uh, the amount of jank you can get on Picto Chat is insanely high. Um, what else? We have. There's Delfino Plaza as well, right? Do some of these stages have water actually? Because if you like to get water, that would actually um, be a huge disadvantage to some characters. Because there are a few characters like. Um, Charizard I believe, and uh, Charizard and Inkling. And Sinro as well, right? Because Sinro is a fire type, so he should take damage from falling into water. Yeah. And then, um, you know, like. And those of you who have played the Splatoon series would know that um, for Inklings, they automatically kind of like lose a life. Or, like, they basically die when they hit the water, essentially. And we all know that ink and water uh, exactly. just report to me, I should think of what you Yeah. So PK Yeats moves on in the bracket. Uh, looking forward to our next match. What else? We have sitting in winners quarterfinals, we actually have 1004, the Mii Brawler, who just got fourth, right, at yep. the at our major. Yep, he did. Um Lechuga, a Joker player, I believe, uh, will be playing against PK Yeats next. Um then we will have Slash versus the winner of Techno and Noodles. 
Um, and then afterwards, we'll have Jordan Jordan versus the winner of Skull King and Neck. I love how this like, evens the playing field so much. You have like no idea who will go up against. Exactly. <laughs> seating, yeah. Yeah. seating has actually been randomized for this tournament because just like items, you know, everything is random. Yeah, you must have the good. You must have our on your side. So you need to lean into the randomness in everything. Exactly. exactly. Everything. Uh, who do we have up next? Is that Noodles that I see sitting in the in the stream chair? The, the glare from these lights is a bit much for me to know who yeah. it is. I believe we have Noodles versus Techno coming up next. Techno being a Little Mac player, uh, playing Little Mac for the majority of their tournament. Noodles being an Ice Climbers player. Ice Climbers are actually very very interesting in this matchup because Ice Climbers can grab two items at the same time. Oh, um, that's really fast. Exactly, oh, right, yeah. because it's basically two characters. Because they're two characters, characters right? So the desyncs, like if you, if you can desync and also pick up items, that would be very interesting to see. Yeah, that would be really, really cool actually. And I wonder whether like items are just like... Um, I mean, definitely you'll benefit like sort of like uh, faster characters, right? but I'm just wondering about characters who don't have like much natural tools of their own, and just the like, characters that are really heavy, right? For example, like, maybe like Ganondorf. Like I don't know whether he could benefit. I mean, he technically has an item of his own. He has like, his sword, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ganondorf in item is very very scary because an item you're not really looking to get big combos, right? You're just looking to pick up items, and so the characters with the big hits do much much better in items. And again, of course, Ganondorf is a character with the biggest hits of them all, alongside maybe Bowser. Yeah, I'm actually wondering how good like um, characters who can absorb energy, you know, like just characters like uh, you know like Ness and Lucas will be. But it also depends on the type of the item that you have, right. like whether it'll buy energy based projectiles, because that doesn't apply to most of them. Yeah. Alright, looks like it will be Techno versus Noodles. 